Hey y'all, it's the Virginia Farmer Wannabe, and before you watch any further of this video, it does have lots of blood and guts, so if you're squeamish, you probably shouldn't watch this. I'm here with Margaret Myers of Little Brook Farm, and she's processing a bird as I'm just filming, because that's not, you know, lazy at all. Walking through the process, it, um, you are going to see dead birds, so just so you know now. So that some of them are in here, Cornish crosses. There, are, Margaret. How old are these birds? <laughs> for roughly, roughly uh, nine weeks. Okay, roughly nine weeks. So the the like threshold when you're supposed to which of them is eight weeks, but every single bird is different. So. Well, um, it, roosters, not Cornish broilers. So they grow a little slower. I had a lot of issues with them growing so fast that their legs right. would start hurting. So right. that's why. So already I'm, I'm spreading falsehoods about her birds. <laughs> no, well it just, that's why I'm butchering them a little later. So they take a little longer to grow so they're not going to have as many health issues that would come with chickens that grow so fast. Right. Okay, so Cornish roasters. I didn't know that was a breed. Let's just... Okay, um, so yeah, Cornish roasters in here we have Five left. Okay, so I'm. The, I've been. We've been pretty. Well, I say no. I'm not gonna say equally. We've. I've been the one killing them, and then she. Um, and then I put them in the hot water, and then the uh, spinner thing. I, I, plucker. Plucker. There. It was blanking on me. So again, don't be too squeamish. Cut their throats. Cut their artery right here. They're in the killing cones, and then we put them in the boiling water, and then in the plucker. Okay, it's, I, I, I keep saying this, it's not boiling water, but I just keep saying it's boiling water. It's, it's about 50 degrees. 50, um, 150. 150 degrees. 150. So it's scalding water, not boiling water. Boiling would be 212 Fahrenheit, or 100 degrees Celsius. So it's not boiling, as someone keeps correcting me, gosh. So 100, um, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, plucker, and then, geez, I don't know what the word, is that viscerating? What is the word for this? Dis not dissecting, that's like for... Degutting. Degutting, that's definitely professional. <laughs> okay, so let me, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up on a tripod so you can see pretty much the whole process unfolding. Um, and yeah, I'll probably speed it up because it will take longer than it looks. Margaret Myers of Little Brook Farm. I will probably send a couple links in the description. Awesome. I normally do it. Usually I, I'm a little bit more seductive, but okay. So usually, 
I can do it between two cuts. First one opens it, second one dispatches it. Sometimes it doesn't always work though. Sometimes a fold of skin will move just as I'm about to cut and it ruins the whole thing. You know, an extra fold of feathers moves in. Sometimes it's not always perfect, but out of the last, what, I think the 12 birds, I had to do three cuts for two of them. And I, one, one time I got one cut and it was out. Professional farms like Polyface do. I mean, so it, it's, we're just doing this for that, you know, for home consumption. We're not Marcus having to sell these, but this is what professional farms do. They put them in the killing cones. They'll have they'll have like a, a, a like a swivel table that has killing cones on them, and they'll butcher between 10 and 12 at once, um, and then they'll put them on assembly line. Like it's, it's kind of an assembly line, and they'll have like these little water lines that go down to it, but. Um, when they when they turn around and stuff like that, that means they're they're dead. They're dead. They're, they're going through the rigor mortis. What not? permanently died. So I'm not only getting like chicken experience, I'm getting mechanic experience. Watch your electrocute yourself. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no pressure. Okay, so now we're looking for bare metal somewhere <laughs> to put this on. You can technically put it on So we're like less than a half mile from where I live and check out Margaret's, she has a, it's like a, it's like complimentary to her blog that she has that's part of her farm website and everything. It's a really awesome website. I've, I'm, she has this amazing like interactive map thing that you can see like the different parts of it. I've, I click on all the different sections and everything. So go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. It's probably like hovering around my head somewhere. Go check that out. Check Margaret's stuff out. Like comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you again on the Virginia Farm Wannabe and Little Brook Farm. Awesome.